Hello, welcome to Garden Masterclass on our YouTube channel. My name is Annie Guilfoyle and together with Noel Kingsbury, we run the Garden Masterclass programme. This has been running for about four years. It's an educational programme and ordinarily we run events all over the British Isles and mainland Europe um, in gardens and nurseries. But this year, of course, uh, we've had to do a lot of work online. And here we are in the beautiful garden of Derry Watkins, very close to Bath. Um, and the reason we're filming here today is uh, it's an unusual circumstance because Noel Kingsbury and myself are in the same country at the same time. And we thought this would be a really good opportunity to tell you about ourselves and what we do. So I'm going to hand over to Noel in a little while, but just so that you know a little bit more about us. I'm a garden designer. I live in West Sussex. I teach at Great Dixter, a very well-known and wonderful garden in East Sussex and at West Dean. And for 18 years, I was the garden design or the director of KLC uh, School of Design. Since 2016, myself and Noel Kingsbury have been running Garden Masterclass. These are live educational events set in the most beautiful gardens, nurseries and other venues all over the British Isles and into mainland Europe. Our audience are generally from a professional capacity of garden designers, landscape architects and very keen garden owners. And we also produce pay to view webinars which are recorded and you'll find those on our Vimeo channel and if you just look up for Garden Masterclass uh, you'll find them there. Hello, my name is Noel Kingsbury and I write about plants and gardens for books and magazines. I've also done a lot of uh, research over the years, particularly into the performance, the long-term performance of garden plants. I've got a background though in adult education and so I've always been really interested in how we communicate what we find out about plants uh, to people involved in gardening and landscape. At the beginning of 2020 we had well over 30 workshops organised in Britain, Ireland, the Netherlands and one in France and one in Germany. And of course, with the COVID crisis, we had to cancel or reschedule the lot. So thinking on our feet, uh, we decided to do a five times a week broadcast for the global garden community. We did that for two months. And since then, we've been doing it just once a week, every Thursday evening. All of those recordings then go onto our YouTube channel. Uh, and we've got many hours of great garden viewing. So now we're setting up Friends of Garden Masterclass. Members will have discounts to our webinars and to the recorded webinars, uh, privileged invitations to special events. Uh, it will also give free access to all of our recorded material. So if you would like to see the rest of this video, then please subscribe and we'll be very glad to meet you. I'd love to welcome Tom Hoblin, uh, who's a garden designer. He mostly does country gardens. Uh, he's exhibited and won medals at Chelsea and Hampton Court. Um, so I, I got into this uh, industry probably about 20, well, oh, 30 years ago now. I, I can't recommend going to queue enough because the one thing it'll tell you is you will learn how plants grow everywhere in the world, which is such useful information. I've got two and a half acres of garden uh, five, and five and a half acres of wetland meadow. Um, I thought what I'd do is I'd show you my, my garden. My garden's more of a laboratory than a garden garden. If you can tailor your plant palette to exactly your soil type and to your climate, that's the lowest maintenance planting you could possibly have. I created... Um, uh, some walks that go through my wild areas 
And the great thing about Iris Siberica is once the foliage is finished and it dies down, it makes this great mulch carpet that stops weeds coming up through. And the beauty about Iris Siberica is you get the lovely seed heads in the winter yes, as well. Yes, they're, they're very attractive, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And Matusia is a really good one um, for suppressing other weeds. Even in the UK, we have a thing called the National Vegetation Classification. It's a really, really useful tool, and I use it all the time. Is whenever I go to a new project, I try and figure out if this garden, this man-made thing wasn't here, what, what type of habitat would we be in? Another really, really important um, thing um, to, to, to do with all client projects is don't just take a pH test, get a proper, proper so soil test. Now I have um, uh, a small practice of five people. I surround myself with landscape architects so we can take on quite complex projects, but really it's a, just an excuse to plant plants wherever I go. Uh, and, and, and that's what I love doing. So I managed to uh, uh, convince my lovely clients in Cambridge um, to go with this uh, uh, style. And here's a, here's a city courtyard version of it when we just, just planted, um, this is just planted and this is right in the middle of Cambridge and this is how it is today. This is my next project. This is the extreme going from, from very, very dry Cambridge to going to the Broadlands, uh, which is in Norfolk, which is a, a big wetland area. It's, I'm trying to imitate the wild version on the other side of the water. Last shot, Amalankia, Oz, uh, yeah, there's the um, Iris, uh, Caesar's brother. That's the house when it was first built and it was built by the, one of the, the very first uh, woman architect, post-World War I woman architect called Hilda Mason in 1930. That's the view from the house uh, going across the River Deep and that's taking in the autumn. I said, you're surrounded by heathland here with some interesting gorses, interesting brooms and things like that. I think we should just rewild this whole nine acres and let it go back to heathland with heathers and you know Kaluna and Erica and the clients really 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 on board with it and really keen and, and it's so rewarding so my point is understand your soil understand your climate and you can make a low maintenance planting and hopefully you get clients that are understanding when you say you can't have lupins and delphiniums in your garden thank you very much